a couple weeks ago, I was cruising down 3200, two in the morning, the streets are dead. And I got pulled over for going five over the limit. <laughs> I mean, here I am, middle class, white suburbia, it's 2 a.m., nobody in sight, and the cops are worried about speeding. I mean, anybody can tell you where drugs are being sold, or where some asshole is beating his wife, and somewhere someone's getting fucking robbed and they're pulling me over. But when someone breaks into my car, they literally asked me what I expected them to do about it. Serve and protect my ass. Got a ticket once. I was uh, I was parked in front of my house. Apparently, uh, apparently my car wasn't parked at the flow of traffic. I live in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> this is my point. Anybody can tell you where crime is happening. We all know where the bad neighborhoods are. We know where you can buy drugs, and the cops, I'm sure, know all that too. So why don't they just stalk those areas? Why don't they just follow what everyone else seems to know? It's like they're waiting for these criminals to come speeding down the highway and then they'll do something about it. God, I don't know which is worse, the fucking cops or the fucking thieves. These guys that steal shit like this, they go to like parks and shit and they wait for guys like you to pull out a camera, start shooting stuff, and they wait. And then as soon as you leave your stuff unattended, they jack you. That's how they roll. Now that actually makes sense. I was at the park. I was testing out my new lens before I went to work. Fuck. You know what the worst part is? What's that? My sister's wedding pictures were on that camera. <sighs> Wow. I know. Hey, you know what we should do? We should go do a bunch of different parks and shit. Get a really fancy camera, flash it around, take some shots. And then we park your car, put the camera inside, leave it on lock, and hide in some bushes. And then right when they go to steal your shit, bam, we fucking rob them. Fucking rape that dude. Well, that first part sounded good. Like, it's just stuff. And that's the funny thing about it, is because 
Like, since it happened, I sometimes I've tried to take a step back and be like, oh, it's just material things, it's just stuff, whatever. You know, all that crap you're supposed to tell yourself. But that's not how it is for me because it, it means something in the sense that it has a memory attached to it. And for me, that's how I remember certain things in my life. I save stuff because it helps me remember it's something tangible attached to a memory. We had a tradition that every year we would get a brand new ornament. So every year of my life, I had something new. And I, I, I love those because for me, it's not about the thing, it's about the memories it jogs, you know, about the memories that come back when you look at it. And you know, if you have something for 30 years or 20 years, you know, you can pull it out of the, it, and so for Christmas, you pull it out once a year and all of a sudden you remember all those little things or like something you made or, there's gotta be a way that you can teach someone a lesson a little bit, you know? Because I think a lot of the time these people have never had any major consequences done for, you know, what they've done. Uh, and so, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what that would be because I'm not a vicious person. You know, I don't I have no intention of hurting people necessarily, but at the same time, like, yeah, they've got to, I would do something if I could, for sure.